why we beat this guy and we can get the platinum trophy. Don't remember the fight. Oh, I got it! God Gamer, first try. One minute, 14 seconds. Joint accomplishment, yeah, I guess. It's so much work. So now we escape that place. Uh, yeah, might as well jump. And once we get told to open up the cabinet, we don't. And we should get a last ramp. Manfred! So that's gonna be one down. Next is Little the Dragoon. Then we can start the Final Fantasy Marathon. Hopefully getting the blast for the six first games. Now we give the scroll to the guy. And this is totally missable, so... Alright. It's time to open up the cabinet. I already told you, the cabinet is where it is. Hey, to open it. It's not, it's not empty. I already unlocked it. Why don't you put that curiosity to go use and open the cabinet already? If you don't open the cabinet soon, you'll have to sit through my boring story. Morning you, it's boring. It's philosoph philosophical. I'll even remove your ability to skip what I'm saying. This is your last warning. You better make sure you have some time ahead of you if you're going to keep doing that. Alright, let me share with you my understanding of Madame Melody's work. <laughs> Story! After observing so many humans who were stuck a long period of time and reading as much as I could, some trends inevitably come up. One thing we all have in common is the need to feel like we value, power, and abundance in our lives. And I don't really know if I want to read all that, to be fair, because I know it's going to be pretty lengthy. You can read for yourself. You'll feel good when you see positive feedback on the way that you want negative coming away from having your day ruined. I'm sure it's a pretty deep message. Now about power, dysfunctional people get a sense of power by exercising control over others. Sometimes right down to policing the way they talk or who they engage with. They feel good when they have a weak partner or friend to control, feel depressed and weak themselves so no one around to feed their ego. Their sense of abundance will often come from material things displaying a high status or promiscuity. Mm, promiscuity. Interesting, you, you had me, but now. You have my full attention. Even though it feels great while the money in the crowd are there, these lack real depth and the impact of the inevitable downfall would be hard to overstate. 
For functional people, it's a scarcely documented that they are generally busy living and meaningful life. Functional people get their sense of value from an understanding and not judgment of their inner work. You're blind. Your sense of power comes from an ability to self convey and let others be who they are while protecting themselves when needed. You know what? I wouldn't be surprised if somebody at Sabotage Studio had to write some text for school at some point and that was just this text that they translated to English. Like it sounds like so much bullshit and a lot of words to say like not much. And abundance simply comes from good self-care. Now all of this makes sense in theory, but the idea is to be able to apply it. For this, you first need to master your emotions. As I understand it, everything you experience is a mix of big five. Fear, joy, sadness, anger, and shame. Primary colors of our experiences, if you will. Mix fear with anger and you get jealousy. Too much sadness in your joy will make you melancholic. The only way to unpack complex emotions is by breaking them down into which of the big five are concerned and to deal with each of these individually. Easier your seven done, right? Consider Hunter the House stories for a moment. They're always the same, aren't they? It starts off with optimistic fools moving in, and soon enough, bad things begin to happen, and fear ensues for a while. Eventually, the protagonist has had enough and decides to face the ghost. What? What do you want? They will have started cowering in fear. As it turns out, ghosts usually know what they want, and it's usually the same thing. For a person who wronged them to face justice, and then he put the rest. That's usually where the killer faces a trial and the ghost's body is respectfully buried. That's not really how it works in Supernatural, though. And just like that, the house becomes a warm haven again. Did you get a metaphors? No. If you often feel depressed, irritated, or however hindered in your general ability to engage with life, you're just like a haunted house. If your inner child is hurt and will be increasingly uncomfortable for you until you turn around and ask, what, what do you want? If asked honestly, you would find that the answers here were you all along, were within you all along, and that all in true with that inner child's request is both challenging and life-changing. Only then can you begin the process, the process of discovering your true self, to finally get rid of your chains. These were my final ramblings, please keep in mind that I am but a shopkeeper. Everything I say should be taken with the biggest grain of salt you can find. Please open the cabinet now. Platinum Trophy! I am the messenger. We did it. Let's go to Trophy page. Wow, I can't type. Right. So the messenger it's PS4 version. Uh what right. so the game fun. I mean it's a pretty fun game. Some challenges but not too hard. Uh I gave 80s an 8. I liked it more than Death's Door, so I think an 8 is fair. 99 out of 10. The trophy fun is going to be slightly lower. Because I really hate having to replay a game just to get a trophy. And you kind of have to do it. And it's without dying, and I don't really enjoy these trophies. But other than that, the trophies are pretty good, so I'm going to give it an 8. And difficulty? Maybe a five? Uh, is it harder than Ratchet and Clank? Not really. Let's say 4.5. And how long did it take me? Uh, can I? I don't think I can take a look on the PlayStation 4, so I'm gonna have to take a look at my save file. Let's keep going just slightly. Just so I can say. Messenger Swag Blade. So it's, 
this should just take a, a few minutes. That means the shopkeeper is the hero from the west that gave us the scroll at the start. One of us! Once this is over with, I, I just go in the other room and I stay. Just might as well keep it safe file, you know? The next Platinum will probably be Legend of Dragon. I don't think I'm gonna finish the Witcher 3 before. Be right back. Okay, we save title screen. So it took me. Twelve hours and a half. So this is half an hour for so thirteen hours, fourteen and a half plus three failed runs. So let's see sixteen hours. That's about it. Sixteen seventy hours. And the date. Today's date is. Twenty seventh of April, April twenty twenty three. No notes, and I can raise this one. So that's it. The thirty second platinum trophy. I'll had the link to the video later. So pretty good. Pretty happy.